Good afternoon. What is your name, sir? Um, that would be William Perry. Mr. Perry, where are you from originally? Miami, Florida. How long have you been working as a mystery diner? Mm, approximately five years now. Tell me about the work. Um, it's very exciting work, and actually I get a rush from it because I go into these establishments knowing that I hold the fate of their restaurant or such in the palm of my hands, and they just have no clue. They think I'm just some regular guy there to eat. Okay. What types of uh, mystery dining assignments have you been on in the past? Well, there was a, a assignment that I went to in L.A. Um, that was a very interesting one. They sent me out there because there was a restaurant, it's a Japanese restaurant, which was very good. It was well known. Um, everything up until the guy started cooking was fantastic. You know, he was preparing the food in front of me and everything. But it just seemed like he couldn't help himself but to scratch his head. He had on a hairnet and everything, had his hair pulled in the back, but he was just doing it. I don't even think he noticed. So, of course, you know, when he went to serve me my food, I had to excuse myself from leaving. I was just utterly disgusted. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, there was another place that I went to, which was in New York. New York was, I think, one of the better ones that I've done, because they wanted to know why on certain days of the week they didn't have the biggest crowd as they did the rest of the week. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, their business slacked off. And what I found out after a while, going there a couple of times, was that the chef that waited on people on Tuesdays and Thursdays served less food than the one that waited on people for the rest of the week. And you know, African American restaurant, People like to be full when they eat. They paid a lot for this food, and this guy, he wasn't given so much food. So they didn't tell the ma managers or anything. They just didn't show up as much. What was your worst experience as a mystery diner? <laughs> I would have to say that was a restaurant that I went to in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, before I even get into what that restaurant was, let me just say, my grandmother's Dominican on my father's side, and she took a lot of pride in the food that she used to prepare. I mean, she would scrape together money to send back to DR to bring back barrels of spices and different things like that to prepare the foods that she made. She wouldn't go to the corner store to get spices and herbs and things of that nature. Now, when I went to this restaurant, which was supposed to be an authentic Dominican restaurant, um, I was sent there to evaluate taste. Now, I noticed that when this guy brought the food out to me, it didn't even look the same as the food that she prepared. And I mean, she had a, a dish that was pretty much the same thing. They called it a different dish at this restaurant. She called it a different name. If I could say it, I would love to say the name of this dish because I can't. People there would know the restaurant that I'm talking about. But her dish had everything fresh except for one item. When I tasted this guy's food, it tasted like things came out of the can, came out of bottles. I don't know where. It came out the alley. I don't know where he got this stuff. But he could not by any rights call this a traditional, authentic Dominican restaurant. And it's sad. But I would, I would say that qualified as the worst. Okay. Uh, tell me why a restaurant would hire you to be their mystery diner versus someone else. Well, let's see. Uh, when I walk into a restaurant, um, I'm very meticulous. You know, I evaluate everything. I'm, I'm very precise about that. Um, I love my job. You know, it's, it's a great job, but it helps when you like food. I love food. I'm not a big guy or anything, but if you knew me, you would know how much I do. So now, I mean, other than that, I'm, 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 the, I'm the average Joe. I, I don't have anything so classy about me or so regular about me. So when I walk into these establishments, people automatically make the assumption that he's just here to eat. He's not here to value my food. You know, that's what I like about it. And that's what I think I'm great at. Okay, finally, is there anything else about you that you would like us to know? Well, let's see. Um, I have a background as a cook and also have a background in security. You would wonder what that has to do with the restaurants and everything, but when you have a background in security, you pay attention to everything. So when I go into restaurants, I'm sent to assignments to look for a place that's clean. I look at the parking lot, if they've swept it good. If I'm sent there to evaluate the personnel, I'm looking at what is this person wearing? Is there enough people when they come? When I come in, they greet the people and everything. And if I'm at some place like Chuck E. Cheese, or they're wearing colorful clothes and are they being friendly? And I mean, other than that, you know, organization. That's a big part when, you know, you're a security advisor, you look at organization. When I walk in and I sit down, I want my salt and pepper to be there, I want my napkins to be there. I don't want the girl to have to walk 100 feet away to get me some water and an appetizer. I would like for her station to be right there. So when I walk into a restaurant and I see these things are out of order, I notice it right away. That's what separates me from maybe the next man you might want to hire. Okay, thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you.